guys so I wanted to make a video I know you guys probably weren't expecting to see me because I usually record my videos on the weekend and post them on the weekend but since I am done working at the summer camp that I work at and volunteering afterwards summer's really officially kind of started for me now so I have time to make videos and I wanted to make a few videos um, because I got such a great response from my um, welcome class of 2015 video with my tips for freshmen, um, incoming freshmen, I figured that I would kind of continue the school related series and kind of make a video um, about makeup that I kind of would suggest for kids maybe going into high school or maybe younger um, in middle, middle school. I know I have a lot of people watching me that are still in middle school. So I figured I'd talk a little bit about that. So that's what this video is going to be about. So without further, but <laughs> without further ado, let's get into the products. Okay, so the first type of products that I'm going to be talking about is like face products. So as far as like foundation and blush go, and then I'll move into um, eye stuff, and then I'll move into lip stuff, and then I'll finish off with like mascaras and brow stuff. So before I get into the products, um, I'm going to, these products are mostly targeted towards high school students. The reason for that is I really don't feel like middle schoolers, like that you know, I mean, I guess 8th grade, it's appropriate to wear, I guess, if you want to wear makeup, that's definitely okay. Um, and I guess times have changed, and I know I'm, I'm talking like I'm a grandma or something, and like, back in my day, like, we had to rub rocks on our eyes for eyeliner. Like, I'm not trying to be like that, but what I am trying to say is if you are like 11, 12, or 13 years old, I'm going to put the line at 13. If you're younger than 13, I really don't suggest putting any makeup on because it's only going to like harm your skin. Your skin is such a beautiful thing that if you kind of um kind of corrupt it with products like wearing them every single day when you're that young it's not going to be good for you and then you're like 12 years old and you're already getting into this routine of putting on makeup every day, I suggest you stop because like, if you have acne and you're 12 years old, it's probably because of all the makeup that you're piling on your face. And if you are, like, your skin is, like, aging faster, it's probably because you're putting so much stress on it with all of that makeup. So I totally suggest laying off the makeup when you're that young. These makeup items are suggested for kids 13 and older, incoming freshmen or 8th graders. That's what this is kind of suggested for. I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew right off the bat that I'm not suggesting for younger girls to be wearing this much makeup and to be using these items that I'm going to talk about. So I just wanted to preface the video and now I can get into some of the products without having to ramble on and on throughout the video about what I was supposed to say in the beginning. So I'm going to start with the face products. Um, as far as foundation goes, you really shouldn't be putting liquid foundation on your face. It's very heavy. It's not comfortable for your face. Although there are foundations that allow your skin to breathe, I find my skin feels its healthiest when I have a nice, a light tinted moisturizer on. Like, I have a tinted moisturizer on today. Um, it's just one of those things where it's kind of like killing two birds with one stone because you're going to get that coverage that you might desire if you're, like, going into high school or whatever. Um, but you're also going to get that moisturizing, long-lasting effect throughout the day. Your skin isn't going to have, like, dry marks or anything like that. Um, so that's pretty much all I suggest for foundation. I'm not going to sit here and suggest, like, you know, um, like bronzers and highlighters and all of that because it's really not necessary at all for school. I mean, you go to school to learn and you go to meet people and make friends, you don't go to pile on makeup and like, you know, mask yourself into somebody that you're not. Because I mean, people aren't gonna like you because of how much foundation they have on your face. They're gonna like you for your personality and you're only covering your personality when you put a lot of makeup on. So as far as eyeshadows go, when you go to like the drugstore, CoverGirl has really nice little palettes, for not for school, but like for fall that are really neutral and nice. Again, I don't know the name of this quad, um, but I feel like it's something called like Cafe Classics or something like that, but they have a bunch of nice neutral shades. Um, so you really can't go wrong with palettes like this, but when it comes to palettes like this, don't um, take that darkest shade and put it all over your eye, because I've seen that happen before as well, and it doesn't go down well. So. 
Neutral palettes are definitely a really good thing to have, especially if you're a beginner to makeup. Having all your eyeshadows in one little palette is really convenient. Um, this is from Smashbox. It's just, I'm just showing it for the shades. I don't want you guys buying fancy makeup for school. Um, as you can see, like, it's a nice shimmery neutral color and then a nice vanilla shade. And I would wear this. Like, I would easily go to school and, like, put this on my eyes. And I'm in high school. It's, like, one of those things, like, I would, I'm, that's, like, the most makeup I would want to put on. I wouldn't want to cover my eyes with any crazy shades. So, yeah. And that's pretty much it. Oh, Physicians Formula has a really pretty trio of colors if you're into, like, the pretty shimmers. Um, this is called Baked Sugar, and it has, like, a pretty pink, a, like, a whitish shade and a dark brown. I just suggest this pink shade, though, because the white and brown are very bold. Um, really, it's all about enhancing your eyes and enhancing your face and enhancing your features when it comes to makeup for school. You don't want to be, like trying to cover anything because the second you try to cover something it's gonna get noticed if you have like a big zit and you try to cover it with loads and loads of concealer it's gonna make people look at it even more when you don't have those things covered it's like okay you can't think of it as like I'm a freak for having a zit you have to think of it as like I'm normal because this happens to everybody I cannot tell you how many times I have had like breakouts and I've just gone to school and bared through it all without any crazy concealer concealer on my face because I didn't feel like it was a big deal because the thing is you need to get it in your head is like people aren't gonna hate you or like shun you because of a blemish the only thing that that blemish affects is you so you have to make sure that you're okay with it and the second that you're okay with it and you feel beautiful inside it out you're gonna have a much better day I promise you so those are like eye things as far as eyeshadows um, if you're in high school I understand wanting to wear eyeliner if you're not in high school I don't suggest it because it's not very age appropriate it's <laughs> definitely something that you would want to do in high school only um, and if you're good at applying eyeliner, if you've been practicing and stuff, then rock it. I definitely suggest it. But the colors that I suggest are browns because they're the most neutral and they're the most natural looking, um, you know, shades. And a lot of times using a black eyeliner can be a lot more intimidating, so you tend to mess up more. Um, I personally don't really like to wear eyeliner, so I can't really tell you um, that I wear it every day to school. But I know some girls that do, and it really enhances their eyes and makes them look gorgeous. Um, so I really do, if you want to wear eyeliner I suggest wearing a brown it's just a lot more neutral and not a lot more youthful rather than like straight up black. As far as lip products go I cannot stress enough the fact of having a lip balm is very 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 important. Was that even like a real sentence? I didn't really make sense but anyway um having a good lip balm is really essential it doesn't even matter if it's like a world like famous lip balm you can get one from like chapstick brand for like a dollar pretty much anywhere like at CVS or at the dollar store you can really get any lip balm it's just nice to have one because having your lips moisturized is like a really quick easy beauty trick because when your lips are chapped and like gross it's like you don't feel right you feel kind of weird and like dried out I don't know me personally I feel like that so you don't need a lip gloss you don't need a lipstick you don't need a lip tint all you need is a good old-fashioned lip balm and the one that I'm holding up is just one of my favorites it's the Nivea a kiss of mint and minerals another so, good thing is a peppermint lip balm because it kind of like gives you that sense of like having your fresh breath and stuff so for people like I know myself I love having my like teeth brushed and having fresh breath of obviously I'm not gonna brush my my teeth in the middle of school so it's nice to have a lip balm that kind of gives me that like feeling of minty cleanness so yeah that's definitely a good product to have another one is just a classic clear lip gloss um, it, a lot of times it's difficult to find that lipstick not lipstick but like lip gloss shade for you so if you really just are in a pickle you don't really know what shade works out best for you clear lip gloss looks good on everybody I promise it looks great on every lip color every skin tone and it really enhances your look. It makes you look a lot more put together because it looks like you just took that little step forward. But it's really not that big of a, a deal. It's just clear lip gloss. This is the Sephora brand. It's a really big tube and it's just in the color clear. So I suggest clear lip gloss. Um, if you're looking for fun, pretty lip glosses, I do suggest Beauty Rush. A lot of people don't like the stickiness of it, but I just love the color. I like Liplicious as well, the Bath and Body Works. I'm wearing the, um, what is it called? weekend kiss or something like that or witch's kiss um right now it's really nice and it's not that sticky it's really moisturizing and it gives me that pretty shimmer this is the um 
more mimosa from the Victoria's Secret. It's a really pretty peachy color, good for fair skin tones. So yeah, you know, whatever you find a lip gloss that you like the consistency of, just grab it and try it out before you go to school. Um, don't go crazy though, like I've seen girls come in with like lip liner and lipstick on, like it's not a beauty pageant, leave that stuff at home. And then finally, lashes and brows. If you're the type of person who like loves to fill in their brows, I mean more power to you. I just really suggest going as natural as you can to school because again, you're not really trying to impress anybody with how much makeup you can pile on. Um, if anything, you're trying to impress impress people on how beautiful you look without any makeup on. That's just my opinion though. So I've been using this for a really long time. It's either the Clear Great Lash Mascara or the e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. This you just run through your eyebrows and it's or your um, eyelashes if you want clear mascara which is always a good alternative to black or brown mascara. Um, anyways, this is just something that you would like run through your brows and it like combs them out and it keeps them like in place and you don't necessarily have to have filled in your brows to use this. You can just use this by itself um, if you want your eyebrows to stay in place. If you have like a lot of hairs and they tend to move a lot throughout the day, this will really keep it in place but it's not like hair spray or anything. It's not like rock solid. It's really nice. So if you fill in your brows, I'm not going to tell you to stop doing that if that's what you enjoy doing um, or if that's just like the one makeup you need to use is to fill in your brows and like you're never going to change. More power to you. I'm sure you look beautiful but I do suggest trying to, you know, go as natural as possible and this e.l.f. Um, brow gel really helps you do it. So that's really good. And then a mascara. I love Lash Blast um, Fusion. It's like rubbed off because I've used it so much. This mascara is awesome. It's so good. Um, it has like a really big brush so it gets all of your lashes, like every single one. And they don't clump together. They separate and like it's it's amazing. I love this mascara. So if you're looking for one, Lash Blast Fusion by CoverGirl. Um, love that. So that's pretty much it. I really didn't wear that much makeup when I was in like middle school and stuff. Like before I went to high school, I wore like, um, you know, the maximum I would wear would be eyeshadow and mascara and like a tinted moisturizer. That's pretty much it. And thinking back on it now, I really didn't need to wear any of that. I just kind of like wore it on occasion, um, like picture day or something like that to give my like face that extra spark. But other than that, I really didn't care about how my face and makeup looked going to school. And then my freshman year, I just wore the bare minimum for makeup. I never outdid myself. So that's my suggestion to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like this back to school thing I have going on, leave me comments with like ideas that you think that I should make a video on if you need some help with certain things. Oh, and before I leave, do you guys like the new addition to my little windowsill um, at the camp I worked at. Me and the guy that I work with, his name's Tom. Hi Tom, if you're watching this. He's like the sweetest guy ever. We did a candle making like um, activity with campers and we made candles and he like wrote G Bonita 3795 on it in glitter um, and um, like fabric paint. So I just thought I'd share that because it was hidden in the last video and I wanted you guys to see it. So um, if you like it, let Tom know how much you love it in the comments. I know it'll make his day, right? Hi, Tom. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care. Ciao.